and bedding plants. Let's take a look at bedding some of those. plants. So there's a real colour theme at Chelsea this year in pastel colours. I love so that. I've picked together some of my favourite pastel bedding plants. Yeah. Now bedding plants seem a little bit old fashioned, but actually. As people have got smaller gardens, maybe they haven't got a garden, they're growing bedding plants in patio pots. They've almost become patio plants. Some of the range here shows you what you can do with that colour range to get the Chelsea look on your own patio at home. Okay. So we've got geraniums, helichrysum, nicotiana, which do is the tobacco Do these come back every plant. year? No, these are just one season, so these Funny. are known and as that annuals. Annuals, and yeah. then perennials. And perennials, perennials are coming back every year. I used to work at a garden centre, <laughs> I had to beep. Oh, you must have been good. <laughs> I used to have to beep on the till whether it was a perennial or an annual, and I thought, I don't know, I should just go, that'll do. No. no. I put the thing through. I didn't know. How long did you last there? Not long. It was a summer job. I was only about 15. <laughs> I didn't know. They're pretty. They're like, so, yeah, so they're these, like starry nights. So they're almost the more traditional kind of pastel colours, but I've also picked out some of the brand oh. new flashy varieties. So this is a plant everybody's talking about. That's it was so cool. It was in the final 20 for plant of the year at I'm Chelsea this year. Petunia night sky. It oh, does look like a night it's sky. It's incredible. Some people love it, some people Where hate it. Where can you buy it? that? You, you can buy this in garden centres or through mail order. It will cost you about £6 for a pot this size. It. But it flowers all through the summer. Excellent for dry, sunny areas of the garden as well. And love if it. you forget to water your pots every day, this is probably one of the plants for why, you. Why do people hate it? <sighs> Messing with nature. It really divides opinion. Is yeah, I put this on my Twitter feed and some people are like, ew, no, that's awful. But other people, I want it straight away. I so want it. It's the plant that's got people talking and that I'm is get important so enough for me. Me so. too. Um, next, ferns here. next. Firstly, oh, I want no. to show Sorry. you this because oh. this is one of my personal favourites. A brand new marigold with russet coloured flowers. See, that does nothing a, for me. No, I feel like this is a remix on a traditional bedding plant and that's why I love it so much. It's like... They've rebooted no. the marigold, come I on. I know, but I'm not that. I like, mm. look at that, look at that. Okay, yeah. no to the marigold, fair yeah. enough. Let's look at some ferns. <laughs> okay, so with ferns, they're a real nail plant as well and there's lots of displays with ferns at Chelsea. Yeah. They're a great choice for a garden because they're evergreen, so they come back every year, they look exactly the same every year, yeah. and they're great for damp, shady corners. So if you've got a difficult ah. area, maybe by a drain or the guttering's always dropping water onto your, onto your border. We've never planted them in our garden, but they found their own way there. So they yeah, are the by the drains will travel the in the air. Like so, yeah. You can see how we can um, put them in lovely decorative containers. It's almost like a, like a giant gravy boat, isn't it? Yeah, so it you can see <laughs> how they can be used as design in the garden. Yeah. There's also choices as a house plant, so you can grow them in a bathroom or a kitchen. So yeah. ferns are another real nail plant. 